Good day, good day, grade eights. And once again, your favorite uncle is with you. Well, today we're going to talk about factors and multiples. So if you haven't subscribed, please just do the right thing. Just hit that subscribe button and let's get right into our lesson. Now, today we're going to talk about factors, right? So firstly, factors are by definition, all the numbers which can divide exactly into the number or into a number without leaving a remainder, right? So in this case, when we talk about a factor, right? So let's use, let's say 16 as an example, right? So what are the numbers that can divide into 16 without leaving a remainder, right? So that would be one, uh, two can divide into 16, definitely four can divide into 16, 8 can divide into 16 as well as 16 can divide into 16. Now, remember, whenever, if I can take any of these, these numbers and divide them, right, into 16, right, um, in this case, we are going to get a, a number, right? We're going to get, a, in actual fact, um, not a whole number, but a natural number back meaning that we cannot have, in this case, a proper fraction or we cannot have any decimal into it, right? Now, looking into this, I want you to note something very, very uh, uh, particular. So there are different types of factors, and I'm going to actually add this into this, right? So there are different types of factors. What are the two types of factors that you've got? We've got what we call prime factors. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Remember we made a video about prime numbers, right? So we've got what we call prime factors. We're going to look a little bit into this, but we also have what we call composite factors, right? So we also do use uh, these as uh, composite numbers, okay? So composite factors. Now, Let's firstly look at prime factors. Now, remember, by definition, what is a prime number? What's a prime number? A prime number is a number that can only be divisible by two numbers, which is one and itself, right? So we say that prime a prime number, rather, is divisible by two numbers, which is one and itself, right? Now... We spoke about this at length in the previous video that we had, right? So in this case, let's have a look at it. So now, what are the prime numbers that we've got here, right? So we've got one as a prime number. We've got two as a prime number, okay? Remember, two can only be divided by itself. And in fact, uh, I just made a mistake right now. I said one is a prime number. It definitely isn't, okay? So uh, two, however, is a prime number. Remember, by definition, we said it can only be divided by one and it can be divided by itself, right? So one can only be divided by one. Uh, and in this case, it doesn't fit the description, right? But when we look at four, what are the factors of four? It's one. It's two and four, right? So which means it is not a prime number, but this is what we refer to as a composite number, okay? So we say four is composite as well as eight, right? Remember, what are the factors of eight? Factors of eight are one, two, four, and eight. So there are more than two numbers that are uh, factors of eight, so in this case, it makes it a composite number as well. And so is 16, isn't it? Right? So if you think about factors of 16, we've just outlined them, which means that 16 is also a composite number. Now, very important. So in this case, when we talk about prime numbers, we said these are numbers that can only be divided by two, I mean, by one and itself, right? So therefore, prime factors are factors in this case that are prime numbers so which means what are the prime factors of 16 
a prime factor of 16 would actually be 2, right? So in this case, this is going to be very, very important later on. Now let's take another number, for instance. So if I were to take uh, to talk about uh, in this case, now remember we said there's composite factors, right? So composite uh, factors uh, can be divided by more than uh, more than two factors. Okay, and in this case, we said for prime numbers can only be divided by uh, two factors, which is one and itself. Now, uh, in this case, let's take another example, right? Say, for instance, let's take the number, all right, let's take 32, okay? What are the factors of 32? So that would be one, that would be two, that would be four, right? That would be 16. Uh, sorry, that would be eight, rather. That would be 16 as well as 32. Right, so all of these numbers can divide into 32. But now, what I'd like for us to do is to look at uh, which of these are actually composite numbers right or composite factors and which are prime factors so which are the prime factors in this case so two would be a prime factor and in this case which other factor none of them are actually prime factors now i want you to note something very important one is actually neither prime nor composite okay so I want you to, rem to remember that, that one is not a prime number, but it is not a composite number either. So which are the composite factors in this case? So that means if we're looking at composite factors, four is a composite factor because it has more than, uh, you know, more than two factors. Eight is a composite factor, 16 as well as 32, right? So all of these are composite factors, right? Now, Remember I said to you we were going to talk about factors, okay? But we are also going to talk about multiples. But before we actually go into that, uh, could you help me and find out what are the factors of 30? And I want you to identify prime factors as well as composite factors. If you don't mind, pause this video right here and let me know which are those and look at the, ex uh, um, the solution just a little bit afterwards. All right, if you've just unpaused, what are the factors of 30, right? So that's going to be one, that will be two, okay? That would be three, right? That would be five, that would be six, that would be 10, that would be 15, and 30. You know something that I always do for myself? Uh, actually, I want you to just see this. Whenever you take the last um, factor and the first one, they should give you, when you multiply them together, they should actually give you that number back. So is the second one, and the second from the last, if I take two times 16, that will give me 32, as well as if I take four times eight, that should also give me 32. Now, if you've got an odd number and you find that there's a number that's in the middle, it means the square of that number would actually be equal to, um, um, you know, the, the number that you are, you are actually uh, finding the factors for. Now, look at this. If I say these are all the factors, if you take 1 times 30, that would give you 30. If you take 2 times 15, that would give you 30. If you take 3 times 10, right, that would give you 30. 5 times 6 would also give you 30. Now, which are the prime factors? Of course, I said to you, we need to identify which ones are the prime factors of 30. Now, remember that 1 is neither 
prime, no composite. So 2 is the first prime number. 3 is a prime number. It is divisible by only 1 and 3. 5 is also a prime number. So in this case, the prime factors of 30 are 2, 3, and 5, right? Of course, meaning that 6, 10, 15, and 30 are actually composite factors, okay? So remember that uh, the, um, rather the multiples, or rather uh, 6, has got multiple factors, which are 1, 2, 3, and 6. 10 also has a, a number of factors, so you don't only have two factors, right? So in this case, it would be 1, 2, 5, as well as 10, right? So in this case, it has more than one factor. So it is 15 as well as 30. So these are what we call prime factors. Now, before I conclude this video, let's talk about multiples. Now, what are multiples so whenever we talk about a multiple of a number right so in this case we are looking at a number okay that can divide into uh, or rather a number which the number can divide into without leaving a remainder right now i want us to look at the difference between factors and multiples so in this case, if I talk about multiples of 3, right? So which means I can multiply 3, or rather I can multiply 3 uh, by any number, and whatever the outcome is should be a multiple of 3. Let me make an example. So if I say to you, uh, 3 times 1, that gives me 3. If I say 3 times multiplied by 2, that would give me 6. So which makes 3 and 6 multiples of 3, right? But if I say 3 times 4, that gives me 12. So which means 12 is a multiple of uh, 3. So we can look at several multiples of 3. And that is 3, that would be 6, that would be 9, that would be 12, that would be 15. And we can go on and on and on, right? So we are saying that at the multiple of a number, right, are all the numbers which the number can divide into. So all the numbers which the number can divide into without leaving a remainder, right? Now, before we end this video, I want us to look at several multiples, right? So in this case, what are the multiples of 5? Can you give me at least 4 of them? Right? Okay. That's 5. That would be 10. That would be 15. That would be 20. That would be 25. And you can continue on and on and on. Right, So you know that when you multiply 5 by any number, whatever the outcome is would give you the multiple of that number. Now, I want to end this video here. And in our next one, I'm going to show you how to actually write a number as a product of prime factors or in this case as a product of its multiples. Right. I'll see you guys again next time. I hope this lesson has been clear. I'll see you guys again next time. From your favorite uncle, it's Shop Shop.